checkpoints are all over, and I warn people. I'm like going, they're showing up all over the place. I was getting emails from people saying they're in Arkansas, they're in, you know, Utah, and and people are like that. They're thinking it's not a big deal. I'm like, bull. I mean, believe me, if they can get away with it one place, it's going to open up another one. Then they're going to open up another one, and it's just going to snowball. And it's going to get silly. And I always tell people, how many how many checkpoints is enough for you? When do you finally say enough is enough? One on every block? Is it a two on every block? When would you finally feel safe? When do you go, man, I really feel safe? What about a cop for every person? Then you, hey, there would be no crime then, right? Well, isn't that what you want? You want safety, so why wouldn't you do it? Because you know why? It's not feasible, it's stupid, and it's ridiculous to have that kind of presence around. I think there's too many cops now, you know, where you turn around every corner and they're hanging out with their stupid gun trying to pirate from you. When you call a cop a pirate, then all of a sudden he's going, pirate? Why am I a pirate? You know, he's, well, what is a pirate? Well, a pirate is somebody who steals. When, I, when I'm criticizing this cop or what they do, it's because the media won't criticize them. I'm the, we're the other side, right? If you got busted for a felony, what did the police do? They put your mugshot out there to the news agency, they tell you your name, they put all the information out there, call you a scumbag. The police do that, right? So why can't we, as a group, as citizens or whatever, I'm not a citizen, but whatever, as a, as a person, individual, why can't you put out the information about a bad cop? You know, if he does something, he's, he's in trouble with something like that, why can't you put his mugshot out there? Why can't you have his full name? Why can't you have his address? The, the media is not going to investigate these people. The same way the media doesn't really hound Barack Obama in the White House news thing, whatever. Because if you ask him a bunch of hard questions, guess what? You don't get invited back to the White House press briefing. The same thing happens with the news media with the police. If you double-cross the cops, guess who gets all the news stories? The other channels. So they keep treat them with kids' gloves. So we're the other side of the story. You can defeat the state by, by mocking them, you know, and you can defeat all, an idea by mocking them. I mean, if you just sit there and just go, dude, you, you're silly. You run this checkpoint and just start laughing at them, they kind of feel stupid. I'm going to ask you one more time. Am I free to go? Uh, no, you're not. Am I being detained? Uh, I guess if you wanted to no, I'm asking you. on out of here, you can do that. Uh, am I being detained? Am I being detained? I'm asking you. Uh, your forward progress is stopped. Okay, so am I being detained? Yes. A lot of them don't like working for the state. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people who don't like it, and they just do it to feed their family. But if I was violating some of these rights in order to feed my family, I'd find some other way. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I think if everybody pushes on, continues what they're doing, continues exposing the stuff, it's really going to open up. Terry Bressy. The right to travel, the right to move freely within one's country is such a fundamental right and so it is so important to a free society um, that as I've watched uh, circumstances change over the years, I've been concerned at um, how uh, the government has been slowly encroaching upon those rights. You know, he's, a, he's a pioneer in the whole thing. And it get, got everybody else, influenced everybody else to do things. I think that's what gives me the joy about is changing the effect of what people, their perception was. At one time they would think, you know, the cops are heroes, and then they see some videos and they, they go, well, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not the ultimate enemy, but maybe they're not what I thought. Maybe they're not all these pro people that we need to worship. Don't we want to get to a certain area where cops aren't beating people? Don't we want to get to a level of awareness uh, that the checkpoints are Nazi and they're, they're doing all this stuff? Well, you have to share the videos. You have to wake people up. And I always get everyone says, what's 449? I say, you have to ask him. <laughs> so I don't know That's if you That's a want... mystery, man. <laughs> On to the next question. <laughs>